Good evening, and thank you for having this hearing tonight. Uh, my name is Bonnie Preston. I live in Blue Hill. Tonight, I want to urge you to recommend to our congressional delegation to vote no on the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm on the National Council of the Alliance for Democracy. We work to keep alive the dream that Abraham Lincoln expressed as government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Currently, we have government of the corporations, by the corporations, and for the corporations. As David Talbot says in his new book, The Devil's Chessboard, democracy is an impediment to the smooth functioning of the corporate state. One of the main reasons that we have this corporate state is that the free trade regime under the WTO, IMF, World Bank, and various free trade agreements have given multinational corporations power they could not get from transparent democratic processes. I will show this with a few pieces of information of the provisions of the Investor State Dispute Settlement Chapter of the TPP, which um, Alex covered as well. Um, under the WTO, multinational corporations must get their national government to challenge laws that threaten their expected future profits. And aside, this indicates that total corruption of our economic system, which does not guarantee profits. Um, <laughs> uh, under NAFTA and the TPP, these corporations can challenge a government directly, putting a foreign corporation on an equal footing with our nation. The dispute does not go to a court of law, but to a three-person tribunal made up of judges who are corporate lawyers. They are tasked with deciding whether the trade agreement has been violated, not with deciding on the merits of the case. The lawyers making up these tribunals rotate between their roles as judges and their roles in other cases as advocates for the corporations. There is no requirement that they be impartial or independent. They can even be connected financially to the corporation that has brought a case forward. This is the system that just days ago imposed over $1 billion worth of trade sanctions on the U.S. because of our country of origin labeling requirement for meat. Americans want to know where their food comes from. We will not be able to because Canada and Mexico do not want us to know. When our Congress is allowing corporations, nearly 600 participated in writing the TPP, to write the laws in ways that serve corporate interests rather than the interests of the people, we have given away our claims to be a sovereign, democratic nation in which we are all equal under the law. For the first time in any U.S. trade agreement, financial regulations may be challenged using the same ISDS processes as other types of corporations. What progress has been made since 2008 in reining in the banks and other financial institutions will be thrown out the window, rather inevitably leading sooner or later to another crisis of massive proportions. Claims against the United States are already impacting us on such issues of particular importance to Maine as forestry rules, water services, and mining regulations. And there are pending claims against the U.S. that total over $25 billion. If the TPP passes, our exposure will be doubled because of the expanded number of foreign corporations and their subsidiaries that are in the United States. There are many more problems just in that one chapter of the TPP on the ISDS. The Transatlantic and, in, uh, Trade and Investment Partnership and the new Trade and Services Agreement are already being negotiated, both in the interests of multinational corporations, just like the TPP. It doesn't look like we the people stand a chance to decide how our country will be run. Fortunately, opposition to a new world order of total control by big business is building. The Alliance for Democracy has a campaign to get municipalities and counties in the U.S. to declare themselves, by ordinance or by resolution, a TPP-free zone. So far, 19 entities have done this or are in the process of doing it. They range in size from Fort Bragg, California to New York City, and in geographic scope from Bellingham, Washington to Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Cities in Europe are starting to plan TTIP free zones, uh, Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership is what that stands for. Defeating the TPP is the number one priority if we are to be able to even pretend that the U.S. is a democracy. 
All of our congressional delegates voted no on fast track. We need you to recommend to them that they stay strong and vote no on this agreement. They will be under tremendous pressure to do otherwise, but with your support and the support of the Maine people, which they do have on this issue, we can expect them to defeat the biggest corporate takeover yet. Thank you.